Well, hello everyone and happy new year. It is Saturday, January 1st, 2022, which is 1122 if you write it out. <laughs> I've been writing the date all day, so I thought that was funny. Anyway, happy Saturday, happy new year. It is the beginning of a new year, hopefully a much better year than last year was and the year before that. <laughs> Maybe COVID will go away for sure forever this year. Um, anyway, I have um, a beautiful card to show you tonight. This is two versions of the same exact card. I was going to get your opinion and see which one you like better. They're exactly the same. The only difference is this one I stamped the image in black and this one I stamped it in Sahara sand. So they're exactly the same, but I thought this one made it kind of pop more. But I was going to see which one you guys liked better and then make that one. But otherwise, they're pretty much exactly the same. So let me get my computer going. Make sure I'm live on here. I think I am because I see a few people commenting. Let's see. Oh, yep. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Diane. Hey, Debbie. Hey, heck, Catherine. How are you guys doing? Yes, rid of COVID. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I even got noticed. Oh, you got to notice that was on. Good, 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 good. All right. So which one do you guys like better? This one with the black stamped or this one with Sahara sand stamped? I like both of them, but I think this one shows up just a little bit better. Hey, Robin. Diane, you like the, the, <laughs> the black one? I'm guessing that says black. <laughs> both. Okay, let me put it up close so you can see them up closer. I, my uh, Wink Estella pen went a little bit uh, crazy on this and I have lots and lots of glitter sparkles on here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's very sparkly, but this was a fun technique. This is called the watermark background technique. So I'm using water to create um, just kind of a, a fun background. So it's really super easy, and I'm going to show you how to do it. <gasps> hey, Judith. Hey, Sharon. All right, so far we have black, black, both. All right. Who? Anybody else? All right, I'm going to go ahead and start, and we'll see if anybody else says anything. But I think this one does show up better. Um, oh, what I'm using tonight is the Blessings of Home stamp set, this stamp right here. And the words come from the happy and heartfelt, which is the thank you right here. I love, love, love the words and the fonts of this, um, the font of this stamp set. I just think it's so pretty. All right. And then I'm also using, this is the scalloped contours dies for this one and the Taylor tags die dies for this one. Also, um, don't forget Tuesday is the beginning of the new holiday, I mean, not holiday, a spring mini catalog. So um, I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the new catalog. Hopefully you guys have gotten yours by now. If you're one of my customers, hopefully you've gotten it. And I'm going to be going through page by page showing you my favorites and samples that I've already created or gotten in swaps from this mini catalog. So lots of cool stuff coming on Tuesday. I'm not going to be doing a project. I'm just going to be going through and showing you samples and stuff and picking out my favorites, showing you like some of the new cardstock. I mean, not new cards, like new designer paper and some of the swaps that I just got, which are amazing. I'll show you. Well, this was my swap. So you already saw this one because I did the video a couple days ago. Well, a few days ago. This was my swap. So this is one that I got. Well, I didn't get it because I made it, but this is one, another one. But I have lots more and I'm going to be showing you those on Tuesday. So don't uh, make, uh, make sure you mark your calendar to, um, watch that one all right so robin says the one on the right so that's black one and debbie says that's tough they're both pretty angie happy new year Catherine says think with the watermark technique the black shows up better yes well this part right here is not using the watermark the background the background is the same that's the watermark part the front is just stamped and then um sponged with the uh what do you call it? Blending brush. Um, Terry, first time catching me live. Yay. Love my cards. Thank you. 
Yay, Terry, you're so right. Oh, she's awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys are just making my day. <laughs> hey, Robin. Happy New Year. I know I had the, oh my gosh, the worst day at work. Well, not worst day, but it was just like insane again. It was so crazy. And I had to work last night till closing and we didn't get out till after 10 o'clock last night. We were so busy. And then I had to be back to open this morning and it was insane busy again. And it was just like all day. <sighs> just wears you out. And then I ended up staying a couple hours longer because the people coming in at three o'clock, it was so backed up. I, I just stayed to help them because we had a five hour wait at that point. And I just felt like they were never going to get out if I didn't stay and help. So I did. So I've only been home just a little while, but it's so good to just get out of my clothes, put my pajamas on. And, um, it was 70 some degrees again today. It was so hot. And luckily tomorrow cooler weather is coming. So I am excited. Um, Catherine says, I was hoping you did a video tonight. Hubby's watching football. <laughs> Yes, I do a video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So Saturday is almost always at night for date night. It's date night with Lisa. Yay. Can you guys hear me okay? Because um, I put my microphone on today instead of just hanging it near me. Because some people said they, they had a hard time hearing the other day. So usually I just kind of hang it across the light um, where I'm sitting. But today I've got it actually like on my shirt. All right, so we're going to get started. So this is what you need. We have a five and a half by eight and a half piece of Coastal Cabana, a piece of five and a quarter by four white, a piece of two and a half by three and a quarter, and that's approximately, it's a little teeny bit under that, of the scalloped contour die, a four by one Magenta Madness, and the little tag from Tailored Tag. So I'll put the card next to it so you can take a screenshot right there. And, whoops, this is kind of crooked, isn't it? Or else my camera's crooked, I don't know. Judith says, I love both. No vote, because I think they're great. <laughs> oh, what? You gotta go to, gotta go. Dinner ready. Oh, darn. Terry says, 70 degrees. You're in the middle of a snowstorm. Well, we are actually supposed to get snow, I think, on Monday. Um, oh, Diane says that. Maybe snow on Monday. Yeah, so it's 70 today, and then tomorrow... I think is 70 again, and then Monday is going to be a chance of snow. So you never know what happens in Virginia. It's like crazy weather here. All right, so hopefully you got a screenshot of that. Let's take everything off, and we're going to start with the big white piece. So we're just going to move all this out of the way. All right, so first thing we're going to do is get some scrap paper because I don't want to mess up my nice white piece here. And I changed the date right here to the third, so we'll just go to the end of this catalog. This this um, holiday mini ends on January 3rd, so anything you want from the holiday mini, um, make sure you get it by Monday, because then it will be gone forever. Well, probably not forever, but a few things are carrying over, but not a ton, like my favorite stamp sets. But the squirrel is sticking around, so make sure you get that squirrel set. <laughs> I still can't get over that. <laughs> hey, Rosemary. <laughs> All right, so first thing we're gonna do is use our blending brush and I'm starting with Granny Apple Green. So we're gonna take some Granny Apple and we're just gonna sponge it on here. For some reason it looks more yellow today than green, I don't know. It's kind of strange. I thought it was more like green green, but it kind of looks a little yellow green. I just put lotion on and you can see my fingers in there. <laughs> I don't know why I always put lotion on because my hands are always so dry and then it gets fingerprints on my cards I gotta stop doing that but I hate having dry hands all right so there's the green that's probably enough then we're gonna move on to pink and I'm using um, magenta madness so we've got magenta which is one of my fave colors I love pink so we're gonna take that one this one's really juicy, so I don't need to press too much. All right, so you're just swirling this on, kind of try not to get the green and the pink together because it kind of makes a mucky color. So I'm try not trying to get them on top of each other. I'll just kind of go where the white part is. And it doesn't matter if we have those like dark spots or not. Um, 
because when I do the watermark on top, you're not really going to notice that. All right, then we're going to go in with some blue. So for the blue, I have Coastal Cabana. And we've got Coastal Cabana. And this one we're just going to kind of put all over everywhere. So we're going to fill in the, oops, I just hit the microphone. Oh, can you guys hear me? I asked that. Oh, you hear fine. Okay, somebody said you can hear me fine. Oh, Rosemary says it's cold in California. I don't know where Mur Murrieta is. Is that like northern or uh, probably northern because southern California would probably be still pretty warm. All right, so we're just going to sponge this blue all over everywhere. And the blue and the pink make purple, so that gives you some pretty color. And then if you put it over top of the green, it also kind of gives it more of a, um, I don't know, kind of makes it more green than yellow. So the blue is going to go like everywhere. I think I need to re, I just read this pad, but it still seems like it's not juicy. So you're probably looking at this going, man, that's kind of ugly. I don't really like that uh, look there, Lisa. What are you doing? You're making an ugly card. <laughs> But it's not. Once I get the um, watermark on there, you're going to be like, oh, that's so pretty. So we just are getting a bunch of color on here. And the more, the darker you have it, the more that your watermark is going to show up. So you want to get it pretty dark. This is probably, I was going to do this card in class, but now that I think about it, it's a lot of sponging. <laughs> I think this would take too long. And it kind of is messy because you got to spray water. And I've sprayed myself. I look at the the nozzle before I spray, and it will be pointing away from me and somehow spray me in the face. I don't understand how it works, but I always seem to spray myself. So at work um, last night, we finally finished checking everybody in about 8.30. And so then we just had to wait for the doctors to see everybody. And so... I was walking around taking Christmas decorations down from the, the front office and uh, the girl who had decorated, she put a lot of stuff up with, um, I don't know what those things are called. You know the things you stick stuff on the, the wall with and then you pull the tab and it comes off? It starts with a C, but I can't remember what the name of it is. Um, I want to say contact, but it's not contact, it's something else. They're strips. And it starts with a C, and I'm having a, a, a like total brain fart. Um, anyway, I was taking them down, so I had to go through and pull command strips. Yeah, that's what they are, command strips. So I had never <laughs> really used them before, and so we had like all little stockings hanging up around the window and stuff. So I go to start pulling them off, and I don't know if you guys have ever done this before, but when you pull that thing, it comes flying in down and smacks you in the finger. So... Like, all of my knuckles were bruised last night. I mean, they hurt so bad. <laughs> I'm like, these things are painful to take off. You know, they showed the picture on TV, and it looks like so easy. But these had little hooks on them, and they were very painful to take off. So just a FYI, word of caution, if you have any of them and you take them off, be careful. Was, and then somebody else came up from the back, and they were doing the same thing. They're like, man, those things are awful. They hurt like crazy. All right. Oh, let me leave, leave this here. Boy, I have, I need a piece of clean paper. Let me get a, this is clean. All right. So now what we're going to do is take the stamp and we're going to wet it. So I have my little spritzer here. So it's just got water in it. So what we're going to do, there's the nozzle. I'm going to point it down. And actually, let me point it. I'm going to do it to the side because I don't want to get my paper wet. So I'm going to spritz it. I did three three sprays. So it's not like soaking wet. I just kind of went ch -ch -ch. And then you're going to take it on here and just stamp it. And what it's going to do is take the color off where you stamp. So it's like magic. Isn't that cool? Then we're going to do it again, but I'm going to wipe it on my paper towel. Because it gets a little bit of ink. Oh, I could use this, then I won't get a mess messy. All right, one, two, oops, three. I went crooked. <laughs> See how it's coming up? Isn't that cute? I just love it. All right, so we'll do one over here. 
You don't want too much water because then it'll make kind of like a blob, big blob. So you kind of have to be a little bit careful. But it just kind of just gradually fades on there. Oops, let me wipe it off. All right, so one, whoops, that was crooked. Dang, I just sprayed my mouse. <laughs> I swear I point it straight down and it goes crooked. One, two, three. All right, let's do one more right here. That's going to be a good one. All right, so see how it just like takes that color off? So pretty. Love it, love it. And if you have a stamp that's like more um, solid, like see how this one's kind of open and you get that open look. If you have one that's more solid, it will show up even like more, um, you'll see it even more. Like this one, the first one I did, I actually had it too wet and it kind of took off, like it wasn't as crisp as this is. So you don't want to spray too much water and have it like puddle. You kind of need to practice a little bit. All right, so we're going to let that, oh, you know what else I need to do? We're going to just spritz it to get a little bit of um, like a watermark on there. So I'm just going to spritz it just a little bit and get some little speckles on there. You're not really going to see the middle part too much because it's going to be covered. Oops, I just did that too much. All right, so we're going to let that dry for a minute and we're going to stamp the other one. So we'll just set that aside. I got my paper wet. All right, so now we need to stamp our piece right here. Got glitter on there. All right, so we're going to um, use black because that seems to be everybody's favorite color for the background. So I'm going to use the exact same stamp. And let me dry it off all the way. All right, I'm missing comments, I think. Oops. Oh, everybody said command strips. That's good. Everybody remembers but me. <laughs> hey, Michelle. You can't see it too much. Is it the video or me? You can't see what? The um, the water or this? Right, or let me hold it up. Can you see it better now? Let me see. It's not super dark because I didn't wet it too much. The more you wet it, the more it will like take the color out. But it just creates a really soft look on there. But if you use more water, like if you spray it about four times or five times, it'll give you, it'll take even more color off because it'll like pool a little bit of water in there. But I liked it more of a soft look. So if you want it more white, just spray a little bit more water. Okay. So there's that. Also, the more ink you put on there, the more it will show up too, because it'll take more off. Okay, so we're going to ink this up with the black. You know what I had for dinner? They did order food for us today, which was really nice. They ordered Jersey Mike's subs, which were good, except I didn't even get to eat it till 3 o'clock when it was actually time to get off. But I said, I'm going to eat something if I'm staying longer. So let me stamp this on here. And so I had a little turkey sub, but I, I hate onions. So the first thing I always do if I get a sub like from work or somewhere that somebody orders is look for onions to take them off. And so I opened it up and I did not see any onions, but I could kind of smell them. So I thought they were there and I start picking through it and I found one and I'm going to do the tag too while I got this out. And I thought I got it and I started eating it and all of a sudden I bit into an onion. I was like, ugh. I can't stand onions. So the rest of the time I was at work, all I could smell was onions. <laughs> and I had it, you know, that onion taste in my mouth. And then I had to put my mask on. So I'm like breathing onion air the whole time. And I thought I, all I could smell was this onion. I felt like everybody who sat next to me when I checked them in was going to be like, I smell onions. <laughs> Luckily, I was wearing a mask because I probably had a onion breath. But ugh, I just can't stand onions. I don't know why they always put onions on everything. All right, so now we're going to sponge this. We're going to start with the blue, which is my Coastal Cabana. And I'm going to do that right in the middle. Tap it off. So we're going to do this flower right here. And it's just so pretty. This, I was first going to color it with the blends. And I started doing it, and I was like, this is going to take too long. So it's gorgeous. And I did another video where I did color it with the blends, and it was beautiful. But... I wanted something a little bit faster for this one. 
So I'm just going to do part of it in blue and part of it in pink, and then part is going to overlap, so we'll have purple. Because this, these two colors together, the Coastal Cabana and the Magenta, make really pretty purple when you cover them together. I'm just going to leave that out for a second in case I need a little bit more. So I'm taking the Magenta Madness again, and we're going to sponge some of that on here. And this is really dark. I don't know why this one is so dark. This one I just re-inked, and it's not that dark. All right, so swirl that on and see how it just turns into purple when you overlap it. I'm gonna put some more pink down here. I love it where it overlaps. I think it's so pretty. All right, so we've got all that going on. I think I want a little bit more blue though. down here and on this part just make it a little bit more vibrant and then maybe just a little bit more pink okay all right so that looks pretty good all right so then I want to take um, I've got a yellow Stampin blend I can't remember oh I just put my fingers right in there Oh, one more thing I gotta do, sponge the tag. So we're gonna sponge the tag with the pink. I should have enough on here still just to do this without re-inking it. So now our tag is pink and we're done with the stamping. All right, so now I've got the, um, what is this, dark so saffron. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of yellow on the center of the flowers. So just right in here and a little bit there just right in the center just to give it a little pop of color in the middle of those flowers and I think that is all of them yep all right so now we've got both pieces done we're gonna put it all together so I can get rid of my scrap paper all right, so this one is going to go on the back piece. And I forgot to do the inside of the card this time. This is going to go right across the middle. So always make sure before you glue that down that those are the same width. All right, we're going to use some green glue. And put that on here. Oh, let's see. Catherine says, I love the trick with Coastal Cabana and Magenta. Oh, to make purple. Yeah, I love these colors together. And it really makes a pretty purple, too. All right, we're going to have to hold that a second because it's still kind of a little damp. Rosemary says, love the colors. Reminds me of Emboss Resist. It kind of is like Emboss Resist, except you're not embossing. We're just doing water. So it kind of looks like, it reminds me of a bleach technique. And this one did not come out really as dark as this first one I did, but it was because I didn't use as much water. So if you want it more white, just use more water, like spray one more time. All right. So then we're going to put this piece down right across the middle. And probably need to hold that a second too. And this by itself is just beautiful too. Even if you didn't have the background, this would still be like so pretty. All right, we're going to put that on with dimensionals. And we're also going to put a little bit of ribbon. And I kind of wish I had just used white ribbon instead of the um, pool party because it kind of blends in so much with it. But if you do it, you can change the ribbon. So the ribbon I'm using is the pool party sheer ribbon and I'm just going to wrap that right around the middle and tie just a little knot and I got ink everywhere on myself anybody do anything fun last night for New Year's Eve all I did was work <laughs> I feel like all I do is work now <laughs> we're so short-handed 
It stinks. Next week I got to work like, mm, I worked 40 some hours this week and I got to work about 40 some hours next week. But it's taken away my stamping time. And then next week I start, I don't know if you guys watched the last video. So now I'm the supervisor at work. So I have to start um, that Monday. So I got to start training for that. I mean, I know how to do most of it already, but um, there's a few things like certain reports and things I got to learn how to do and things like that. All right. So we've got our Coastal Cabana ribbon on here. Then I'm going to take some white Baker's twine and we're going to put this down first. And the Baker's twine comes in like a three or four pack, I think now. This is actually an old one that's bigger. It comes in like little smaller rolls now. But I still have a bunch of the old one left. All right, so we're going to put this right in the middle. Maybe I'll put it a little bit higher because i got to put that tag on there. All right, and then we've got our tag. So we're going to put a little bit of the Baker's twine through the tag and under this ribbon. And then I'm just going to cut that. and tie a little knot so it'll be just like hanging kind of loose so you don't want to pull it tight you kind of want to make it just so it's a little loop so i'm going to pull it like that and then do a double knot and i don't want to go all the way down okay so now we've got just like a, it's hanging there like that and we need to trim that and then I don't want it just hanging. I actually wanted it just kind of to um, stay in place, like right there. So I actually put a dimensional under there to hold it in place. So then it won't be like swinging back and forth. So that's going to go right there. We got our little loops. I think I'm going to trim that just a little bit more. All right, now we got to do some bling. So I'm using the rhinestones for this one and I found my take your pick tool from the other day. So I'm going to put a couple, uh, I'm oozing too much goo here. All right. So we're going to put a couple big ones on the pink part, the magenta madness piece. And then I'm going to put one big one on the middle of this flower. And then I'm going to put a couple little teeny ones on here. So let's do one right there and let's do one on the tag all right so now we've got five rhinestones on there and now we got to do wink of Stella and then we'll be done oh no it's almost the end of date night hey Deborah I didn't see you get on here let me see Catherine says we had New Year's Eve Christmas with family finally COVID caused us to postpone Christmas Eve oh awesome to get together with the grandkids Sherry. Hey, Sherry. Finally caught me live. Yes. This card is beautiful. Thank you. And I will see you next week, I think, right? On the 5th. Going to have to try this, but tomorrow pooped out <laughs> today. <laughs> Deborah, you're tired from taking down Christmas decorations. Uh, I never even decorated for Christmas, so I'm glad I didn't have to do that. I just had to take them down at work. All right, so we're going to hit the Wink of Stella. Give her a little spanking. And... Get this nice and sparkly. The one that I had in my other, um, in my stamp room. <laughs> this is getting everywhere except on the card. The one in my other room, I hit it just like one time and it just went psh, all over. All right, so now we have lots of sparkle. All right, so what do you think? So we've got, this was the original. This was the first one I did and then this was the second one. And the third one. I think this did it did show up better on the first two I did because I sprayed it a little bit more. So you just decide if you want a really subtle look or more um, like that. All right, what do you guys think? Love the technique. Thank you. Hey, Diane. Love it, love it. Had to force myself to stay up to watch the ball drop and then you dropped it a bit. <laughs> oh, Angie, you're funny. I know, I didn't stay up. I got home. I stayed up till about, well, I got home about 11 and then I went to bed. I probably fell asleep right before midnight, but this, somebody out there started doing fireworks at like, right when I got home. 
so I couldn't go to sleep too too quickly because they were doing fireworks to almost midnight. Um, awesome card, Lisa. I understand the water. Okay. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We had a good crowd tonight. Thanks, Kathy. Thanks, Rosemary. Thanks, Debbie. Um, thanks, Deborah. Oh, Debbie stayed up. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, you can really tell if you look at the cam, the, I'm looking like at them and then I just looked at the computer screen. You can really tell this one is like the, the most water and this is medium water and this is like the least amount of water. So it really is kind of hard to see it on the camera, but when you hold it up close, you can see it really good and you can really see the spritz. So this is really pretty. Even if you don't do the stamping part, if you just spritz it with the water, it really makes a pretty, um, background too. All right, you guys, I'll be back Tuesday showing you the spring mini catalog. So get ready, make your list, bring some paper with you. You can write down notes and you'll see lots of cool cards and cool stuff. So have a great um, night and happy new year again. Um, oh, thanks, Angie. Great starting the year with you too. All right, guys, have a good night. Bye-bye.